going to talk about uh, uh, about Laribala, but with uh, another overview. It's a geological point of view. Then, uh, when we came in in Laribala, I said uh, uh, my colleagues. Then, first of all, it was it was very difficult uh, to see archaeological deposit on, on this area. And then it was, uh, uh, as we explained, that uh, everything is carved out, and then it's very complex just to, to, to find uh, remains from, uh, from the, the evolution of the sites. When I'm saying geological um, um, overview, it means that uh, trying to stand by the, the, um, uh, the site formation process of the, uh, uh, of the Lalibela churches. It means for us, and as said uh, Marilo, I'm a, a prehistorian, and we use uh, very often this kind of, of, uh, uh, of, um, of idea of the fight formation process. It means clearly just to know, to reconstruct, to reconstruct uh, the, 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 the site uh, from the first, uh, the first occupation until now. But in prehistorian sites, in, uh, in other, uh, lots of things, the, the sites are um, almost abandoned. But here, the, the site is still in use. And then it's very difficult for us. Probably the most difficult things in, in Lalibela, and just to finish the site formation process and to complete the site formation process, it's uh, just the, the, the very last and the actual you know, uh, a modification of the site that the people are, are doing. The, I'm saying people because of the of the pilgrimage, but also with all the management they can do well, for the for the um, uh, for the use of the site. Then uh, the first thing uh, uh, when we're doing a geology, is, uh, uh, of course, we're, um, I'm going to speak a little bit about the geological settings, but also geological setting mean. Uh, of the, the, the deep geology, but we can do also the surface. We have to do first the, the, the surface geology, I mean the geomorphology of the site, just to recognize a little bit, just to identify the relief of the, um, um, of the site. Then, uh, this is a, a view of, uh, uh, this is a view of uh, uh, Gabriel, uh, uh, Gabriel Rufail, uh, you know, in this area here. And if you, we are just, the, we are just in, the, in a trench, and if I see, if I go over uh, over the the, the the photograph, you can see the big hill just against the the the, uh, the churches. And this here is definitely a part of the pile of rubbers of the of the of the carved out of the of the churches. Because we we said until now that they 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 dug out the, the, the churches from from the soil. Then where? But you can imagine that when you dug out. Uh, such kind of trenches and, and monuments. It's it's a huge pile of uh, of rubber and debris. You have you have to identify it in the in the landscape. Then, uh, if for that that we identified this uh, this uh, uh, this deposit, this pile of rubber, and then and then after that we investigate archaeologically uh, this um, um, uh, this deposit. But first of all, I'm just I'm gonna talk a little bit uh, uh, about the geological uh, setting. Then we are uh, we are clearly in the, the high uh, North Highland Plateau from the Ethiopia. We are almost 100 kilometers east uh, uh, from the, the, the Rift Valley, and all the deposits are about we are about uh, four kilometers of volcanoes deposit. Then it's a succession, you know, of um, um, basalt and hyorite and, and so on. But the Laribela, the, the Laribela churches are uh, carved out in a, in a very specific layer in the Scoraceous basaltic. Then these basalts are very uh, softer than the, 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 the main basalt deposit in, in all the region, and I mean, in a, in a way, um, easier to, to, to carve out. Uh, uh, then all uh, uh, we uh, we uh, we, manage, we try we st we start um, sorry we start just to uh, to, um, to a survey about the the rock cuts uh, uh, the, the the rock cuts tra uh, traces of the of, uh, we can we can identify on the uh, on the rock and uh, uh, just to see and to go deep in the uh, characterization of the rock. And as you can see in this uh, the, the, this uh, this photograph here, you can see the used traces you have here, and this kind of tra of traces for stone cutter is not at all with a chisel. It's uh, it's obviously with a pick. Then when you are digging out with the pick in in uh, in this rock, then now this rock is very hard. I mean, then they, they dug out probably this uh, this uh, uh, the, the, this rock when it was very humid, 
in that. It could be an explanation about uh, uh, how they can dig out all, all of these huge trenches. When I say huge trench, because we have one, one place where we can have, what, 25 meters deep of trenches then by hand, then it means that obviously we have to um, recognize what's happened with this, uh, um, uh, with this rock and, uh, and, and go deeply in the analysis and, uh, um, uh, of the rock. Then this rock is uh, uh, sclerosis um, basaltic, and uh, uh, we are just studying where well, we have here in a, a publication of, uh, about a, a, um, a rangery, then it's an, a, an Italian colleague who started a, a, a first uh, analysis um, uh, of the rock, and we are still ongoing on, on this analysis just to see exactly uh, uh, what is exactly the property of the, of the rock and what, what, uh, and what the rock is involved in the easier in the facility of, of, of uh, digging up the, the, the churches. Then, uh, okay, then now we know that they, they dug out, we have um, an overview, um, hypothesis, I mean, that uh, I'm, I'm saying that there are, we have analysis keep going then um, for, for, for this, um, for, uh, for the dugout. But, uh, and then, as I said and in the introduction, uh, Obviously, there we must have the pile of debris of, of this uh, of the rocking churches uh, around the churches. Then we did the, what we did first. It just it's very simple. Then we did that with the colleague Laurent Bruxelles, geomorphologist, and uh, well, uh, he did the map. In fact, <laughs> he did the map of the uh, of the pile of debris of uh, of the, uh, the Lalibela and uh, uh, effectively we identify identify all the the debris. From uh, the the, um, uh, the dugout of the um, um, of the churches, then here it's in it's in color uh, where I can I'm not I'm not going in through in in, in sedimentology about all the different uh, type of uh, of debris, but we will have another uh, an overview when uh, when we are, I'm going to talk about the the, uh, the test trench we did in the in, in the deposit. Then. Uh, what they did is that they, they, they dug up the churches and then they just, just put the, the rubber just uh, all around the, 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 the churches. And then uh, after, after that, with the reuse of the, of the site and the, 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 the progression of the site and the occupation of the site along, along the, the, the chronology, they used the, the, this pile of rubber. And we can find some cemeteries. And I think we, we, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that, but not exactly on that day. And, uh, and they use that as a cemetery. And uh, as, a, as a, we said, this is a, a holy young tomb for the Ethiopian. Then when you can uh, bury or, you know, um, uh, people just uh, um, uh, close to the churches, it's very important for them just to be very close for the churches, as we can see here also in, 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 in Jerusalem, it happened also. Then uh, uh, finally, then, when we identify all this pile of debris in, in, in the Lalibela, we decide um, of course, just to test, uh, to, to test them and just to see if we can find uh, uh, some uh, datings. Because we have, uh, the program is really an, an, an history and an archaeological program. And there are lots of sources in, 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 in history that we can date. We know that uh, Lalibela is the, the first mid uh, 13th century. Then we know that here we have, we have this date by these sources. But what is interesting when we when we find, in fact, the the uh, um, uh, an archaeological potential in the in the, uh, in the Lalibela is just to find uh, a material to date. Uh, it means it could be ceramics, it could be uh, whatever you want. It means uh, organic material just to 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 direct date then uh, with the C40. Uh, and as we said also. Um, uh, uh, we didn't we didn't have any uh, uh, idea about uh, the city and if we can find any remain of city. I mean, portrait, uh, fauna, and all, all the archaeological matter we, we need to to, to find in a, in a, in a city. <laughs> and then we try we try to uh, uh, to find that that um, that material in and then we we did the test trench in in all in two pile of debris. Uh, in the north one here, and in the in, uh, one test trench here. It was it, it was not a test trench, but it uh, um, a clear a clear section because the pile of debris are very huge. It's very difficult to manage a trench in the, those kind of of a huge hill deposit. Then we did the first the first clear clear first section in the in the northern group here, 
and after that, in, in, it was in two or ten, I think. Uh, yes, that's it. And then uh, we did another one in the in two or twelve in this area in the second group, and uh, and the last one was last year in uh, in two thousand seven, I think. Yeah, that's it. And uh, just to um, and we have some new results just to. Uh, uh, um, to understand the thigh formation process and the occupation of the uh, La Libera, uh, of the La Libera site. Then, uh, here we have the, the clearing the section uh, uh, of the, 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 the northern part of debris from the La Libera churches. Uh, uh, what we found, in fact, in this, in this uh, part of it, it's um, almost nothing. Then it was only uh, chips coming from from the cover of the of the uh, of the churches, and uh, of course, as I said, just in the first part of the of the um, of the deposit, we had only uh, burials. It, it, it was it is uh, a, a cemetery. Yeah, we have uh, uh, cemeteries, but also you know uh, secondary burial deposit that they they had just in this cemetery. And all the, uh, the other stratigraphy, it's only it's from Scorasius basaltic. That it means that it's, it's the remains of the cover of the, of, the, of, the, of the churches. But when, when we did the, the drawing and then we did the, 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 um, um, the, the sketch of the, of, of the excavation, then uh, we observed something very interesting, is that uh, uh, we identify a soil just here and here, here, then down all the chips where have have sl uh, slopes in the in the, on the substrate in the, uh, uh, going going south, and after that we have um, 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 the the sedimentation when the, the they, they stop they got clear here because we have the formation of a soil, and fortunately on in this soil we don't have any archaeological material today and any organic material today, but what is interesting is that after that we we had another. Another series of of, um, of debris uh, uh, came out and just finally took the, and 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 formed all the the pile of debris. Then the first information is that that probably in this area here we can imagine that we have two phases of uh, of debris is coming. And then if we there is a big resonance with what we're saying about the phases. I mean we have four, several phases in this in in uh, in uh, when we we. We did the read of the of the facade, and when we we, we did all the uh, uh, the uh, when we uh, put in evidence of the the, the face, then clearly here we have two phases of uh, uh, digging of the of the churches. This is the main uh, the main uh, uh, um, information for this uh, uh, for this pile of debris. Uh, then uh, we uh, we we uh, we did we we did. Uh, other test trench in in uh, in the other uh, uh, pile of debris from the south uh, the south uh, eastern uh, group, and we start to uh, to dig out to the, to to manage a trench in the in the uh, the north facet of the of the pile of debris, and uh, uh, it's exactly here you have the, the the precise map of the of uh, of the of the site, and uh, then all the churches here and here the the, the pile of debris. And uh, you can you can note here that we have uh, um, um, a structure that the structure already identified in the in the eighties by uh, um, colleague um, Ethiopian colleagues where they clear out the, the trench all around all around the, the, the churches. Probably we didn't say that, but all the site is connected by uh, by trenches. And for the the trenches are probably just to uh, to flow out the the water, but we don't have uh, all the network of these trenches. But it's very important just to know that all all the the, the monuments are very connected by trenches. And then uh, in in the eighties, they they uh, they try to clear trenches, and uh, and uh, finally they just go up a, a pile of rubber, a rubber, a rubber, and then they, they, they find a wall. And then the wall, it, it's made with, uh, with big blocks in Scorius uh, Basaltic. It's very well uh, stone cut uh, blo blocks. And they probably build a, st uh, um, uh, a structure in this, uh, in this area. Um, well, when we when we uh, well, well, when we saw that in the, in the, in the archives, then uh, the first, the third thing, the question was, well, did they build the structure just to, uh, you know, retain 
all the pile of debris coming from uh, from the dug out of the structure, or did or is it a structure, an ancient structure? And, and after we have the, 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 the rubbers on the structure. Then we decide just to, to, to clear the, uh, uh, again this, uh, uh, this structure and we did that in, the, in two or twelve and finally we found we find it very well but a little bit collapsed in this uh, uh, here but uh, it, it's, a very, uh, it's a, a very well built um, um, uh, structure and uh, uh, all the stones are very well carved. We recognize all the traces, uh, the stone curves traces on, in this, uh, uh, um, uh, on the blocks. It is very similar to the, the, the traces we found in the, we found in the faces. And uh, finally, uh, we can go uh, just a little bit back of the, of, the, of, the, um, of, of the wall, just inside the pile of rubber, just to get some uh, um, archaeological material. And finally, for the first thing, for the first time, we found lots of portrait and um, fauna, and also um, organic material uh, we date, and uh, that we date. And uh, we found a dead, very interesting dead, because it's the beginning of the 11th dynasty. Then it means that it was the first, uh, century, sorry. <laughs> and it was, it was the, first, the first time in the, it was the first time in the, in the La Libella, then, uh, then not, not really the first time, because I, I think we, we had the date from Kedem before that. Well, we will see after. And uh, 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 that we have something before the, uh, um, uh, the, the, the carat of the, uh, of the churches. It was very interesting. And also, the first, the, the first place where we can have portrait and then, uh, and, and then fauna. Then perhaps we had uh, here that the first, uh, the first evidence of the, of the, uh, of the city uh, of uh, La Libera. Then, uh, Finally, in two or, uh, uh, um, it was in two or seventeen years exactly, we we uh, uh, we decide just to uh, uh, to undertake a big trench in this big pile of uh, of debris in uh, in in the uh, uh, in the southern group, and then we uh, we did the, the two test pit here, the first here and the other one here, just to to make the connection with the substrate we had just uh, here. And I remember you that here you have all the, the, the church and the monument the dug out, and here the pile, of, the pile of debris here and here. We test this one. Uh, where, first of all, we clear the pile of debris, and then here you, you see the, 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 the hill of, with all the deposit. And uh, after clearing all the bushes, then we, we, we start the, the, the excavation. And then in the first uh, in the first test pit we did, and it's this one in the map here. We found a first uh, a first occupation. It's uh, it's probably a, a house that we call too cool over there. It's, it's a rounding house uh, uh, collapsed uh, uh, with a burnt layer here, and we we date it, and it was about four, uh, 14th, uh, 15th century. Uh, then it means that in this part of it, uh, it was it's, uh, very close from the from the, the top of the of the of the pile, and then it's that the first we we, we find the first uh, occupation of uh, in this pile of debris. It was for, uh, for 14 and 16th century. Then uh, it was very uh, 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 um, we 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 were very happy to see to find that that it means that we. We just we, the, the test trend just said that we have occupation in this area, but we didn't reach uh, the, the bedrock in this in this area because the end of the of the stratigraphy you can see here is just also chips. Then after that we uh, uh, we, we we go ahead in the in the last in the last uh, test bit here, and finally we find something pretty much incredible that it's a, it's a huge it's a huge structure. Uh, Honestly, we don't know exactly what is it, but uh, uh, we can describe it a little bit. It's uh, a, a, it's a structure that with a nine, a nine meter diameter, with a diameter of nine, nine meters. We don't have any elevation on it. It's a, um, a, a composite uh, a building with uh, some uh, uh, holes and notches here. You can see two lines of notches here. We have another one here. And when we go further in the pile of debris, we find the masonry in this area. Then it means it's a, we are we are not. It's just a dynasty. We need to excavate more. But we are sure that here we have a structure, and uh, we try to date it. And uh, 
um, and we, we had some material to date and we find all the layers just around the structure. Just I didn't mention that this part here is uh, dug at about 90 centimeters. And then we are against here with uh, something dug out and something built. Then it means it's a mix of what we can have in, in La Libera. Then they dug out the churches and at the same time you have some building around. And then here is a mix of both. And uh, where we are here, the, the final, all the datings of the, uh, we, we found in the, in, we did in, in this, uh, uh, in this structure, and everything is, uh, uh, it's again 11th century. Well, it, to be precise, it's 11th century, but we have a little bit, probably another occupation, a little bit of, uh, 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 around the 12th century. But anyway, it's still, uh, um, uh, is still before the Lalibela, uh, uh, the Lalibela uh, rules, and then and, and uh, from the churches. Then we have another evidence with the, with the, the other uh, the other test that uh, uh, that we have something before the uh, the Lalibela churches. Uh, um, then here we have um, um, another um, another profile then in, uh, of all of the uh, with the same dates exactly. It's very close and it's very very. Uh, uh, very nice date and, and we did a lot of and then we're sure that it's 11th century and here just just to remember that here we have it's a, it's a trench about a four meter or five meter deep then you have a big pile of rubber on, uh, on it then and just to this is the first result of the excavation well for us it's not exactly excavation it's probably test trenches first because we have a, a structure we don't know exactly the function we have dates then now it's time to excavate then and now we have a big project just to finish uh, the, the uh, uh, to finish this program, and uh, we hope to uh, continue to excavate. And we are, we are almost done to do that at the end of the uh, of, of the year. And just just few words just saying that uh, uh, the the site formation process and the geological uh, geological uh, overview in Lalibera was very useful in terms of methodology and in terms of predisciplinarity of the, uh, when we want to understand the, the, uh, uh, the site. Then we have to go further and just to, to cross all the methodology in every site and that we have some words. Thank you very much.